Introducing first the fighter to my right, fighting out of the Scott Petrie red corner. Weighed in at 168 pounds and hails from Indianapolis, Indiana. Representing ATT Indy with an MMA record of one win and zero losses. Kevin Agnew. And his opponent to my left, fighting out of the V2 Digital Blue Corner. Weighed in at 170 pounds from Dayton, Ohio, with an MMA record of two wins and only one loss. Representing Vision Dayton, Paul Shomo Shomer. Your referee for this main event bout is Gary Copeland. All right, fighters, both receive your instructions in the back. Expect you to listen to my commands at all times. It's a clean, fair fight. Any questions out of you, Red? How about you, Blue? Let's tuck them up for a fair fight. We are live here at the Dayton Convention Center for HR MMA 113. We're fortunate to be a part of the B2 Fighting Series. This is the main event. You know what, real quick, I want to give a shout out to Sean McClure. He's done, actually done an awesome job all night long. I agree with you. Really good introduction there all night long. He's done a great job. Good job, Sean. We're lucky to have you. Nice. Yeah. Caught him with the second of that kick. Shomo able to mix it up here early. Go with the old school foot stomp right there. Paying dividends. Right now, I'd have to say, Paul's doing a good job of just holding position, pushing him against the fence. Schomer's got ha that half left side underhook, but Gavin's actually able to clamp it down. It's not really doing much help no. for him just yet. A little bit of twist step in legs. I can't really tell who's got the advantage from that. <laughs> Once again, I know we've talked about that this part is extremely tiring. It seems like you're just doing like an isometric, you know, flex for the whole time. You're pushing, they're pulling. It makes it very difficult. Right now, I like to see Agnew throw a right knee to the body. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like that's where he's planting all of his weight. Yeah. Oh, and he's pulling that, trying to pull that under. Gavin able to flare that right arm up high of Paul Schomer. Maybe able to come around and take the back if he can get all the way out. Very strange uh, takedown going on right there. Oh. Yeah, that was weird. But Gavin able to bounce right back up. Now I'd like to see that left knee of the body from Gavin. Yeah, this is typically the position that benefits Gavin Agnew the most. This is where he shines. He's a grinder. He is. He's so good at that, making you carry all of his weight. Oh, he's just, that, that's a terrible position. If you can get that bear hug just breaking that guy's back, that, that's a terrible spot to be in. Yes. Very impressed with uh, Paul's ability to get out of that position. Yeah, Schumer was actually able to sneak in a couple really short right elbows. Yeah. We started to see the, the, the position of Schomer slip just a little bit. Gavin's just so good at yeah, just, just, just being heavy. Just starting yeah. to try to be the bull right now. Notice how he's pushing him with his head. He's trying to control head position. Just making him carry the weight. Right now, just pulling in the, that body. This is a very grinding style. A lot of people don't realize if in the next couple rounds Schomer gets tired, that's probably because of what's going on right now. Yeah. Schomer going for an awkward single there. Gavin with that right leg threaded through. Maybe trying to elevate Schomer here. Now he really can't get totally in position he wants because their legs are caught up right now. Good job wow. of exploding for Gavin. Way to stick with it for Gavin. And he looks like he's got a head on triangle right now. This could be it if he can. Yeah, this is. Okay, that was a not a real good job. He needs to answer that phone if he wants to get out of this position. Wow. That was if Schomer gets right out of there, that. Wow. That was some strength to still play. Yeah. And Schomer doesn't look that big. He doesn't look like he should be able to just power through stuff like that. Yeah, that was that was a tight spot he got out of. Yeah, I don't think people impressive. realize how close he was to being submitted right there.
triangle here from Gavin. Shomer bounces right out. And this is where Shomer thrives, on top, using some elbows. That's, oh, good elbows right there. He's throwing back elbows. If you go back and watch that Hubor Sure fight, there are some oh, vicious ended up elbows. In the mount. He's in the mount right now. Big, bad spot right now. Wow. And he's got him flattened out pretty good right now. Good job for Gavin to get back in position. Doing a good job of just holding position right now. Gavin's got a mule kick one of those legs out. He's got to work to get to his back, get his back flat on the mat without anybody on top. He's can't really see what's going on for my position right now. Yeah, I'm having a hard time as well. It looks and like Gavin, maybe Shomer. Gavin's just holding on to his hands right now. He's so, that's one more thing that Gavin is really good at. He'll occasionally get in bad spots, I but he's really good at hand control and wrist control from the bottom. And just that, that is one thing he's doing right now, just making sure somebody's bleeding. I can't really see who it is. I think it's Gavin. That would make sense. How scrappy is Paul Shomer? He's a dog. I think I heard the 10 second belt. Yeah. And Agnew probably wants nothing more than to get out of this round and reset. <laughs> Great round right there for Wow, him. for Shomer. Yeah, really good Shomer round. Shomer really looks pretty right down in there towards the end. Some creative angles with those elbows. Yeah, exactly. And that's one thing I like finding at how to hurt the guy at any time. You know, no matter what's going on. Okay, here we got a replay right there. There was that second spinning kick that was nice, knocked him back. That was him right there getting out of that very devastating arm triangle choke. He almost was able to get that. And here's just the end of the round right there. Agnew kind of getting peppered right there. Shomer able to just sneak some of those vertical elbows in right through the guard. Yeah. Well, those are the ones people aren't really looking for. You know? Yeah. So that makes them easier. You know, to, to the sneak in, that's a great word to use, sneak in, because people are looking for different punches, different angles, and, and you just snuck it right through there. job of Gavin right away coming out to set the tone with punches. Shomer looks unfazed. Yeah, Shomer doesn't look like, uh, he looks like he's exactly where he wants to be, very comfortable right now. He looks so calm. Very relaxed, and a couple good punches. Good job there, Gavin, too. Well, Gavin did a great job with the first part of the takedown, but then he kind of fell to his knees too quick. He tried to finish it on his knee. Much better to finish it on your feet. Really good hips here for Paul Schomer. Very nice. I'd like to see, I'd like to see Agnew limp arm out yeah. right there. Old school wrestling. Now if he can grab that and throw a knee. Did Gavin sneak in an elbow there? Couldn't tell from this angle. Oh, like that's an old school wrestling movie he's going for as well. Gavin in this standing Merkel position. There's a good choke from here, if he could kind of roll through. I think, and this is what we talked about. This is part of Agnew's game plan right now, just being heavy right now. Yeah, get on top, stay nope, on top. Nope, and he's going to get out. Just a little anxious there. He came out in front just a little bit. Yep. Shomer tagged Gavin with a jab. I think one thing Schwimmer's being really good at is he's not, he doesn't look tentative at all. He doesn't look like he's tensed up. He's so relaxed on his feet, it's giving him huge advantage. Yeah. I think he's getting as tired. Schwimmer doing a really good job of just grabbing that ankle as the defense for the shot from Gavin. Yeah, much easier if you have two feet. <laughs> yeah. Two, two legs to kind of continue. Now he's got two, you see that? But he's still doing a good job of trying to put is his Schumer legs trying to pull the arm through? He's on the neck now. Got a guillotine is. right now, but Gavin's going to try to pass. If he can get out to the side, once again, we could have a position where you could go for the uh, that Von Flew choke. But no, doing Swimmer's not going to let him go for that. And Schomer's just able to keep his hips moving. 
Shomer style wow. is amazing. That, it's almost that, like he thrives in the most unorthodox yeah. positions. And that, that, that once again was a tremendous amount of strength to be able to do that. He did it seeming easily. This is like 170 pound Ken Beverly. <laughs> I think you may have made that comparison before. I, I feel like I probably have. No, I agree with you. And we got a guillotine attempt right here. Not very good. Not going to finish him like that with the arm in right there. Especially continue to try and pass guard. Once again, like I said, we got that guillotine. It's arm in. Typically not a big threat. Yeah. Sound, sounds like somebody who's used the guillotine a lot. It's my favorite move. <laughs> if I'm in this position, I'm usually using it more for a reversal position as opposed to try and submit a person. Like, like what's he doing right now? He's lifting the legs. That's how you get that to work for you. Good job of Gavin there to use his butterfly hook to elevate the Once Shomer. again, he tried to use that move, and uh, the fence got in the way, put him in a bad position. Yeah, Shomer just did a headstand and kicked off the fence. Yep. Magnus using a lot of strength right there. He's trying to grab and pull him over. That's very tiring and very difficult to do, especially with a guy who has hips as good as Shomer does right now. Here's the thing. I'm trying, you know, tough to say who's winning in this exchange because Agnew does have a submission, and it's not a good is, one. Is but he on the neck here? Oh, it looked like he was, but Shomer's able to pass over. Might try and pull that half guard, yeah, and still go for a choke, but I don't see that working right now. Agnew, fortunate for the sake of this position, the cage is right there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes it to where he can't get his guard pass. Yeah, Schomer would have been right over to side control there. Now he's out. Now Schomer's out in a good way. He's got the mount again. Oh, heel hook attempt. Looks like it's coming. Heel hook attempt. Something tells me Schomer's not tapping to that very easily. Something tells me Schomer's not tapping to anything <laughs> easily. Good scramble right there. These Schomer. are two guys that are just able to create. That's, it's really fun to watch. Oh, he's got the, uh, see, Agnew had his arm trapped for a minute. He didn't seem like he realized it. Wow. Uh, and every, dude, see, that, every, that, that the right hell? there is why I do not like the mount. I prefer yeah. side mount because it's so easy to get rolled out of that. This is a very tough round to call who's winning, I think. What a round. God. Yeah. I mean, both guys got on top a lot. I, 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 I'm not real sure. Like I said, Agnew had some great submission attempts, but they were got out of easily by Schwimmer. So I'm, I'm not sure how, who you're giving that round to. That was a tough one, being quiet on the, the score. See, once again, right there, just exploding up in a bad position and getting out. Here, Agnew has that guillotine attempt right now. He's going to try and elevate and lift him and get on top. And when he tries to go for that, as we talked about, the headstand just kind of ends up in a more dominant position. Look Flips at over, that. Hips down, boom. Kicks off of the cage. Kicks off the cage and put his hips down. That's all it takes sometimes. What are you guys thinking about the score right now? Is it, is it two to one or two to two or, or, or two to zero or one to one? I'll say one one. I'll say Shomer had the first I could and had the second. Yeah, I could easily see where Shomer won that second round too, though. Yeah, I could as well. I could, but if I were betting, I'd probably say one one. But I don't really know that. that yeah. That was a close one. Yeah, it was close. So. I'm there with you. Though, I'm the first round. For our hopeful point of view, we'll say one to one. Sure. <laughs> oh. Good job, Gavin. There coming out and just throwing. I believe Gavin believes he has to end the fight. You might be right. Coaches are yelling at them, I want to see three punches. I think that's great advice. Yeah, that's a good strategy. If you can bare minimum put three together. Good circle there from Gavin. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Take down attempt done by Agnew and ends up right on his back. How flexible there, is Shomer? I mean, that looked like that would have hurt his knee. There's nothing about the about Shomer's hips right there that should have allowed him to get on top. <laughs> Seriously, there was nothing about that that he should have been able to come on top, but he that, did. That reminds me of when you're going against a great wrestler, no matter what good thing, they just scramble and end up on top. Yeah. 
God, Schumer's just looking so impressive. Yeah, I mean, right now Agnew's trying to get an arm bar, but I don't see much chance of that right now unless he gets that other leg out of there. Got an arm isolated here. Schumer able to sneak it back in. Once again, both guys landing elbows right there. He says, you do whatever you can do, I can do better. All right, good job of getting butterfly guard kind of position for Agnew, but he cannot sit on bottom if he wants to have any chance of winning this fight. No, yeah, that was a good job of Gavin to move his hips. Get back, Schomer shaking his head. That landed hard. Both of those are like almost forearm shots to the face. Yeah. Agnew's got to be careful because Schomer will throw those unorthodox elbows from anywhere. And, and, and that was a good example right there. Triangle attempt from Gavin. Schomer just slips right out. Great job of defending that. Props to Gavin for to this point still going for the submission attempts. I, I think you're right. I think at this point it feels like he has to. Yeah. He came in out with a little more of a sense of urgency, I believe, in this round. <laughs> what is this? Schomer is wild. It, yeah, he's... He de definitely does some unorthodox movements. So entertaining to watch. It's like he just casually doesn't mind the threat of giving his back up. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if Schumer's able to come out on top again. If he's able to come out on oh, top Gavin's here, on the would back. be very impressed with that. And this weird, Schumer using the cage. He's going to use the cage to come out oh on top. My oh, my goodness. Gosh, dude. Gavin doing a good job of moving his hips, though. He, he, yeah, he did do a good job of winning that scramble right there. So he's Sh still looking for opportunities to elbow. Yeah, Schumer back elbow to Gavin. Schomer trying to get Gavin to fall off top here. He's trying to bump him off, he's too high, which he is. And yeah. it looks like he did. Nope, he's able, able to hold to position. But the thing I see here is that Schomer's almost able to get his back flat to the mat, which is what he <laughs> needs to do. And he, now, able, he comes out on top, once again squirms his way on top. But now Gavin has his legs locked up. This might be a good triangle. And, nope. he, and he did the same thing as we've seen earlier tonight. Oh, right right, the to, the, the right <laughs> to the back of the head. Good thing the referee was not there. because. <laughs> yeah, there's no question about that. Wow. Good elbow. Hard punches being able to throw from awkward angles right there. Yeah, that's impressive from Schumer. Whoa. And he just put himself in a bad position to Dagnu. Yeah, but that arm he, trap, he, he had to do something. He right. had to do something. He couldn't just sit there and keep getting hit. Oh, those are powerful elbows right there. Golly with the elbows. elbows. He cannot get his arm out now, but that might be too little too late because he took a lot of shots right there. Now Gavin's, what if we see Gavin pull out a Nick Moppin? No, he. he that would be a Nick Moppin right here. A little bit of, I don't know if you know, a little bit of blood splattered on our paper right here. It's kind of a nice addition. Wouldn't be the first time. Yeah. And Schomer just looks like he can end up where he wants to end up all night long. That's yeah, a great job. He looks like he's out there break dancing. What a fight, man. What a main event here at the Dayton Convention Center for HRMMA 113. HRMMA is proud to be a part of the B2 Fighting Series. All right, we see here. Good job there, Gavin, a catch. Look at this, look, no, there's no way. How does... Schomer end up on top there. That was nuts. Such great hits from Paul Schomer. If I had to describe Paul Schomer, I would say gritty. Yes. And unorthodox. Yes. And I got to mention his damn elbows. Yeah, those kidding are, me with those elbows. Yeah, those are a weapon. 
three rounds, the judges have rendered their decision. All three judges for the fight goes to 27 for the winner. Fighting out of the blue. Great show of sportsmanship there from Agnew. Big win for Schomer. Our man Chris Lytle waiting there to interview him. Congratulations on a well fought, hard three round victory. How you feeling right now? Feeling good, feeling pretty tired. Definitely went through battles. It seemed like every time he'd get in a good position, uh, even a submission attempt, you were able to somehow come out on top. Is that something you train for, work on, or just natural instinct, you think? Man, it's just natural instinct and uh, straight up will. I know I don't want to be in any position he wants me to be in. So whatever makes him uncomfortable, that's where I want to be. You look very comfortable on your feet. Um, is that something you would like to be? Where do you want the fight to be typical? Uh, I like the fight going wherever it goes. I was working a lot of stand up this round, so I was trying to keep it standing as much as I could. But I wasn't, hard, I didn't have my heart set on it. You know, wherever it goes, it goes. Okay, congratulations! Can't wait to see you fight again. Thank you very much.